this man, this look a dirty skin man. This look a dirty skin man. We look like him more and beard. Took off. This nigga took off. Left us. When I woke up, I was told that this man take flight. This man climbed the clothes gone. You can't imagine it. <laughs> Bugs. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikita aka Miss Beauty 23 and if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Why do I always do that with my head? That's so weird. Anyway guys, on this channel what we really talk about is skincare. No, it's not the only thing that we talk about but our channel is really based on that because I really feel like skin is the gateway to beauty. Having beautiful, nice, flawless skin is like setting a firm foundation for a nice, solid home. You know what I mean? So we really, you know, we really love to talk about skincare here. And apart from skincare, we do focus on beauty as well. Beauty itself, beauty hacks, um, how to improve your hair, your nails, your skin, all that stuff. And last but not least, we also focus on personal. This is so important, guys. Personal development working on becoming the man or the woman that you that you desire to become working on reaching those goals becoming that successful impactful individual this channel is all about that so if you're into all that guys you're at the right place i would suggest that you subscribe right now you won't get it your girl got you your boo got you period poo period poo i'm having a ratchet moment period poo <laughs> y'all see these big ass hoops period poo <laughs> like this video guys you know because it's good for the YouTube algorithm and also share it share it with a friend somebody that needs a good laugh or somebody that can actually benefit from the information that I'm, that I'm going to be putting out guys so it's as simple as that like share comment subscribe so my beauty bugs we're gonna be doing it a little bit different today today I'm going to be telling you guys a story story time today but the twist is that I'm going to be telling the story and dropping gems at the same time what this story is about Today's video is going to be about how I faded my scars from my last car accident. Yes, pretty sad. This has sentimental connections because this this was real life. Could have lost my eye. It was actually a scar on my eyes, guys. I'm not sure if you can see. See that little scar right there? Right. Yes. So, where do I begin? Where do I begin? This was actually 2017, I believe. Let me. 2019. Yes. So in 2017, I was coming home from work at that time. I, I had completed ecstatic school. I was doing work experience. So I was coming home one evening, right? Right, guys? And um, in Harper Tree, that's the only in-depth information I'll be dropping. This happened in Harper Tree. And um, it was, I think it was a Thursday to be exact. I know it was in September. It was in September. I was at the taxi stand waiting on my taxi just relaxing myself you know coming home from work tired I want to go home like any other human being want to go home and rest my feet and just kick it up and relax anyway I was there waiting and you know your girl I'm a patient Lord, I never gonna pray for me with that like <laughs> I have no patience guys I'm working on it though anyway nonetheless guys waiting on my cab cab not coming you know what start you know what happened the rain started drizzling and I was like, what is going on here? The rain fall, the rain coming down, like, you're going to need to go home and the rain and all these things. No, I did something that I would never normally do because if you know me, you know I don't play when it comes on to the type of cars that I travel in because you have some nasty, reckless drivers on the road. I did something I would never, ever do. I went in a cab that was a white plate cab. I would never do that, guys. Can you imagine? I'm going to my wife. The first time I went in, because I'm the type of person like this. I'll stand at the taxi stand and I'll wait until I see red caps, red plates come before I go in a cab. Call me silly, call me crazy, but I take my safety very serious. But that one time the rain was coming down, that one, all it needed was one time, yo. That one time the rain was coming down, I decided to jump in this cab. Not it, I, I really never realized that it was white plate, to be honest. It's after the accident, I actually realized, you know, that it was white plate. And um, going up the road now, we not even leave the stand, not even, not even two minutes, not even a minute good. The driver broke the one way. We're talking about, him. this is this is a problem with us, well, Jamaicans on a whole, and Jamaican drivers, cab drivers in, in specific right now, that, that we're talking about. They 
broke the one way like me say what the money i could do like i don't understand i don't get it it don't make any sense like all the cars the, um, the oncoming traffic is coming from that direction where are you going the traffic is coming from that direction why would you be driving towards the traffic it doesn't it just don't, it don't make any sense you know what i mean by the time myself here and other passengers could could alert this man like driver what are you doing where are you going stop let us out the man press down the knob thing on the side of the car you know that knob thing that you used to, to, to i don't know what it's called to close the door to seal the door he pressed that down and the next thing i remember hearing the lady at the front screaming she was like driver driver stop it's almost like somebody knocked me punched me in the face guys i don't remember i don't remember anything I mean, I remember nothing, guys. Like, after I remember the lady screaming out, and that was pretty much it. You know, when I woke up, guys, I woke up. I woke up after the accident occurred. Yes, I woke up after the accident occurred, and um, when the police came on the scene. No, apparently I was unconscious. I was, in, I, was, I was at the back, but I was sitting behind the driver. Apparently I was unconscious. And um, that's that's how I I had I got like a head concussion and I got whiplash and I got a scar on my eye. I was unconscious. I like it, it was maybe like after a few minutes I it was brought to my awareness. Even when I gained consciousness, I still wasn't able to move immediately. Like I could, I could hear people talking around me, but I couldn't be like, oh hey help me whatever whatever. I remember I, I heard this guy saying, take her out, take her out, take her out, put her. Guys, they had your girl on the sidewalk like a crazy mad woman like i was on the side moment of silence please i was on the sidewalk guys laying on the sidewalk can you believe it and that's when i regained consciousness i remember feeling people lifting me out of the cab but i my eyes were still closed i was like it's almost like i was on and I was, I was in and out you know what i mean and then when I finally regained consciousness, I was on the ground, but there are people around me, you know, just giving support. You're okay, blah, blah, blah. The cabs, the, the police coming, just hold on, all that stuff. I remember my clothes being drenched in blood. I'm gonna drop a picture for you guys, for you guys to see my clothes. Drenched in blood, guys, like all over. Can you believe it? All over. And um, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this story right out, guys. You guys are gonna crack up, even though it's kind of sad stay because you girl could have lost her eye. Can you imagine? Me one eye look cute oh look M could i still pull it off <laughs> that's not even funny though um anyway guys move back to the story short and spicy so i was on the sidewalk and um in and out of consciousness yes that's where i was in and out of consciousness guys and i was like what the hell is going on you know when i finally regained consciousness they're like yo the, the, the cab driver crash you know and all that stuff and this man this look a dirty skin man this look a dirty skin man we look like him on beard took off this nigga took off left us when i woke up i was told that this man take flight this man climbed the clothes gone you can't imagine it the cab driver took off guys and after he left you know the, the police came on the scene and all that stuff took statement from who was conscious because he collided with a coaster bus you guys know know those big coaster bus right Yes, collided with the coaster bus. And this is a, this is a regular little car, car, you know. I don't, yo, it's the mercy of God why I'm still here today. Talk about blessed. You know what I mean? Because the lady at the front, she got a broken, I believe, or she had a broken jaw and a broken hand, I believe. I don't quite remember. But um, she was pretty damaged as well. <clears throat> anyway, back to my story now, guys. I was on the sidewalk and all that stuff. And for some reason, you know your girl, your girl, like, even though I was in another consciousness, your girl gripped her handbag like it was her last breath. Listen, nobody never got teeth my things them. I got me sure. Of. And, <laughs> right, I'm so amazed at the fact that even though I was unconscious for a good little while, like, when I woke up, I still had that grip on my bag, guys. Like, all I'm on my bag, like, my life, ma well, my life did matter, mattered on it, you know what I mean? I gripped that bag so hard, like a newborn baby. It's not even funny, guys. That's how I woke up with the bag gripped to my hand. And um, they were finally telling me what was happening. And I looked, there was blood all over. I was on the sidewalk. And this is the sidewalk where I would typically walk, you know, in half a tree, you know. Little did I know that I was going to lay down on that sidewalk. You know what I mean? But better, better on the sidewalk than six feet under, you know. And um, back to the story, you know. <coughs> When I was finally 
um, regaining a little bit of consciousness. I heard people talking around me, but I couldn't really respond to them. Because you know, you, ha you got a bad head hit, so you can't really m talk or move or do what you'd like to do right there at that moment. So they, the cab driver, sorry, the police came and they put they ended up putting me in the back because I was pretty damaged. I was, I was drenched in blood, guys. The police took me to the hospital, put me in the back of the car. While on the way to the hospital, at the back of the car now, I kind of fully regained consciousness. Somebody at the back now, and I opened now, me I look up and I realized I was in the car because I heard the siren though. You know, the police siren and all that stuff. <coughs> so when girl regained consciousness now, girl goes back, 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 make two phone calls. Yo, something this happened accident forward you know what i mean start making two phone calls now i said wait why my head feels so cool like me the alaska or something I said but me up on the island why my head feels so cool i don't understand i'm gonna record good 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 18 inch deep wave air rotted <laughs> guys my wig fly off my wig fly off <laughs> nobody couldn't tell me said the wig fly off you know I said, why not? I said, my wig fly up. Don't let me not understand. My wig gone. 18 inch, 20 inch, 22 inch deep wave curly hair. And at that time, I think like two weeks before I, I cut off my hair. So, you know, the girl look like Bali, Jesus, now, you know. The perfect little Korean boy. That's how me look. I said, I don't understand. Though. My wig gone. So, So I was like, officer, officer, <laughs> like, I kid you not, this was literally me, officer, when you not see my wig, when you take out my wig, the man start laugh, the man, the man said, little miss, you, you want to hear, I can't be an to open your ax a wig, I'm like, yo, where's my wig though, like, them niggas stole my fucking wig on the seat, yo, Jamaican, it's terrible, you know, me say, if terrible was a person, if terrible was people, it would have been Jamaican people, the people them take the wig from the scene, people. Let me see a while ago. Because um, some of the two police brought me to the hospital, but you had some more on the scene. And they called the other ones on the scene. The man, them said, them not see no wig. The wig not in the car, and the wig not on the scene. The people, them teeth, my good, good wig. And I had no hair, man. I'm a job a picture for you guys because I had a whiplash. I got a whiplash. The thingy, the brace thing here on my neck. I had a head concussion and I had um, the scar on my face. I got seven to eight stitches right there. You know what I mean? So it was a pretty deep scar. It was pretty nasty. It healed nicely. See there, guys? It healed really, really nicely. Thank God for good skin and all these things. Yeah, you. <laughs> it healed really nice. It healed really nicely, guys. Thank God. But um, the people them steal my wig. Um, you can't imagine it. They stole my wig. My wig. I said, why my head feels so cool? Like why me I feel bald head? Look at bald head Jesus and all these things. My wig gone. My wig fly off. Nobody can tell me where the wig is. And guys, is it because I I got such a hard head hit? No, I want to my own snap though. Let me not understand though. I want um, I want kind of ubla ubla sign this though. Anyway, guys, because I got such a hard head hit, um, the impact of the hit caused my head to swell immediately. Like, the wall right side of my face, I'm head, you know, like when you head I get a water, my head big. When I say big, you know, me look at them ugly big head people, you know. Me I say, yo. <laughs> but at that time, it wasn't funny, though, because I was in tremendous amount of pain and they rushed me to the hospital you know what i mean and yo when the doctor when the doctor was giving stitching me up lord god me give the woman ill it took her like an hour to give me because she numbed it but i felt like i felt when all the threads were going through the area i felt it wasn't painful but i could feel the pressure i'm like yo kid, yo all i wanted to do was to go home you know doctor I want to eat my toast to the lady. I was like, all I wanted to do was to go home, go eat my dinner, relax myself, go read my book, and just call it George and relax. No, this. People them cut off my clothes. Now, it's a good thing girl wear good underwear. People them take out my clothes for me at the hospital. Cut off my good, 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 good four thousand dollars scrubber for me. And all these things and strip down the girl in the hospital. Yo, that was something to really remember. But when it's all said and done, I'm still here and I'm still standing, guys. And you know what I mean? So we have to give God thanks for that. So that was my little 
story, backstory on how I got the scar and what I use to remove the scars. You guys are not going to believe this. Simple, simple products that you can find at your typical pharmacy, beauty store, drugstore, wherever, you know, even online, you know what I mean? Um, but before I, I get into these products, um, the doctor had prescribed something to, for me to use because this was, you know, a deep, this was a pretty deep cut. It was a nasty cut and they had tissue scarring there. The doctor had prescribed a product by the name of Moderma. Moderma. I'm going to drop a picture for you guys. Moderma. This pre it pretty much strip off those dead skin cells and it pretty much just gently exfoliate the area and, and just diminish the darkness around the scarring. So that's what it did for my um, scar. It didn't completely got rid of it. But it did a lot of the work, you know what I mean? So when I when I use it until the scar actually healed, maybe like for four or five, six months, when I know that there's not going to be no form of irritation, then I got my own topical cream to to, to, to use on the area. That that's what kind of you know give it that complete finish faded look, guys. So I'ma tell you guys what I used to achieve this look and to fade the scar and to get your girl back in the game yeah you i'm gonna I'm put you on the top two simple products even though i had incorporated some more oils and you know just to moisturize the ear and all that stuff but these two products are really what really did the work guys first things first i use this on the area the ambi fade cream now this is specifically for a person that have hyperpigmentation um acne scarring post acne scarring spots all that stuff i use this for a lot of reasons there are a lot of skin lightness on the market but you girls you girls don't play when it comes down to her skin if this if products are not going to be beneficial to my skin and nourish my skin i'm not using that on my skin now this in particular has vitamin e in it vitamin a in it all that stuff but the main thing that really lightened the area was the hydroquinone that's in it no i'm not a big fan of hydroquinone i must say i must admit i am not this is a strong form of light now it's very potent you know what i mean but at the same time if it's not used properly it can basically go against your skin what i mean by that once your skin is exposed to the sun it increases hyperpigmentation into the skin hence this is why i always recommend to always use a sun block guys if you're going to be using products that have hydroquinone in it any form of lightener in it get a sunblock guys you know what i mean the main ingredient in this was the hydroquinone and the oxynoxate that is a chemical form of sunscreen you know what i mean so even though it had sunblock in it that was not a high percentage to really protect my skin so i had to even though i was supposed to put it on the, put it on the scar it doesn't it didn't matter so i, I got this product Nobody recommended. I just did my own research. I'm always snooping around. I got this product, used it, got my sunblock, and put it on the area. For, for maybe like a month or two because it, it didn't take a long time for it to fade it. And I also incorporated this as well. The Skin Success Fade Cream. The Palmer's brand. I bought this in the pharmacy as well. This is really, I really, really like this. Oh, I mean, it's so mild. It's so moisturizing. It's so soft. I normally get the one that says for oily skin. It's not as oil based as the regular ones, you know what I mean? That says for regular skin type. So I get that one or the one that says for all skin type. And this this has vitamin E in it, in it has a retinol in it as well, guys. And it has fruit extract in it as well that exfoliates the area. Now, this also has sunblock in it. This has, let's see here. This has um oh here we go octizolate this is also a form of chemical exfoliant as well it ha this also has the hydroquinone in it no more than two percent two point zero percent as i said before guys the, hy the, the hydroquinone can only be bad if it's not used properly no it's not my first to select in terms of lightness the lightness that i like are the kojic acid alpha rugotin acid the niacinamide acid um the tomato oil stuff like that however these products in particular they're not bad product they can be used once they're used properly whatever products it, it, it really doesn't matter you know whatever products that you're going to be using always use a sunblock but in this case where you have the hydroquinone in this which is a very potent lightener which will get the job done but it can cause hyperpigmentation if it's not protected by the sun because as you know the sun activates the melanocytes in our skin causing our skin to become dark no once exposed overexposed to the sun that can happen so I use this on my scar and as and I also use my sunblock and there it is literally there it is I, I purposely left it bare so you guys can can look at it right here there's nothing on here 
I left it bare so you guys can see it. You know what I mean? Like it's just a little incision there. And I got eight, 78 stitches there. You know what I mean? And it healed nicely. At one point, I was wondering if it's going to, you know, sometimes when you get stitches, you have that maybe that, that little tiny, tiny bulk there, that little bulge, the skin kind of raisin. But my one just healed flat. I think because I massaged the area as well. I massaged the area. I massaged the Mederma down in it. And I also massaged my topical creams in it, guys. So these are the two products that I use on the area. It's along with the, the prescribed Mederma that the doctor gave me. And patience using these pro these items and just having patience that's all i did and this is the results i got this is the results i got guys so that is it guys for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was literally what happened on the scene with the accident those are the literal items that i used to remove that scar guys i really hope you guys like this video because you know it's good for the youtube algorithm also share this video with a friend that somebody can possibly use this item just to get rid of their scars as well who knows you know what i mean and don't forget most importantly to drop a comment down below what you want me to talk about what are some of your concerns about your skin let's get into it let's get into it guys if you want to book an appointment at the spa i'm going to be leaving my contact there will the spa contact there in my description box you guys can contact us to book an appointment all right guys but before i go guys beauty hack of the day always put a fresh cloth on your pillowcase if you can't possibly change your pillowcase daily but then again who does that nobody change their pillowcase daily you know what i mean so always put a fresh cloth a fresh shirt something fresh on your pillow before you go to bed because remember dust pollutant and bacteria out of the atmosphere comes in the house take lodging on your pillowcase that's where you rest your, your head also grease and products from your hair that's what causes a lot of uh, breakout in her in her hair shop in her hair line constant breakout it's really small stuff like those guys that make a difference all right so put a fresh cloth on your pillowcase preferably something that has silk because silk is hygienic it helps to regulate the temperature in our skin and decrease our chance of getting breakout versus the cotton that absorbs everything all that oil all that grease and then deposit it back onto the skin guys so take it from me that's what i do i can't see myself sleeping without a fresh cloth or pillow uh fresh pillowcase on my pillow so i'm just telling you what i do guys i'm just dropping those gems until next time guys be bold be beautiful bye my beauty bug